Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna tint Nori's taillights. But before we get right into that, I wanted to show you guys Mia, cause Mia is back and she is running like a dream for once in her goddamn life. <laughs> she has made a very, very healthy 289 kilowatts so that's almost 290 but not quite for all my american friends i will put the horsepower number right here and uh yeah so she's really really good she needs new tires guys the tires are horrible i think the suspension the stock suspension is probably shot um I get a lot of people asking me why I haven't put coilovers on the car and the main reason why I haven't put coilovers on the car is because I like the comfortability and I don't want to damage the body kit and that is my clean car so I have my thrasher and I have my clean one so so I don't really so I don't really like see the massive point of having two super modified cars she has forged pistons new rods, new bearings, stage two cams, um, springs, retainers, metal head gasket, whole bunch of simple stuff, and more importantly, a new turbo. Pretty much everything in the motor has been checked over, replaced, and it should be working like a dream. Good news, I purchased a whole new body kit as a spare. I got it super cheap, guys. This is like a BN style fiberglass kit. Which will look a little bit different to this, but you know what? I'm not even mad. It was that cheap that honestly it was it was a steal for real. It was. I like to keep spares as you guys probably know I part toward, so <laughs> it's a dangerous habit. But nonetheless, I will not bore you guys to death with some little details of what's been going on, but let's get into Tinting Nori taillights. First things first, if you are able to, I would highly recommend removing the taillights. If you can't, there's heaps of people on YouTube that show you how to pretty much like masking tape things so you don't get overspray, etc. This is a drift car. I don't really mind if there is a bit of overspray anyway, but for simplicity's sake, we are just going to remove these taillights. Okay, so here are the taillights and before we do anything, let's take a quick sip of kombucha and grab a microfiber. Then we're going to wet the microfiber and quickly wipe over the taillights um, just to get all the dirt off it. And I also went around the edges because mine were really dirty and um, just be a little bit thorough because obviously if you want overspray or you don't mind overspray, you want the paint still to stick. So you need water, you need a scotch bright, and you need some sandpaper 1200 grit okay so now that you've got all of your items i highly recommend just going through and sanding um, if you're going to use scotch bright make sure you sand over it because it is it can be very abrasive especially the red one so now i'm just wiping over everything and just checking it to feel if the whole surface is matte which it's not so that's why i'm going over with the scotch bright i think you'll have a better time with the gray one um, this one it was fairly abrasive so i just went over it again with the 1200 grit just to even out the surfaces then i'm wiping it over again i'm making sure i didn't go on the uh reverse light either so just go in and do it to the other tail lights as well and continue on the process and this is what they should look like and now I'm just grabbing some wax and grease remover and taking another drink of kombucha. <laughs> and uh, I just, I'm just showing you here the uh, reverse indicators because I'm taping them up so we don't get any paint on them because I'm not going to run some LED bars and I explain that further later on. So I'm just wiping things around again with the wax and grease remover and I'm going in and laying it quite thick. I actually did two thick coats. I don't recommend that. I recommend dust coating everything, um, especially for the street because the street, well, it's probably illegal really. <laughs> so here they are. I'm going to do the re-garnish section there. And this is it. I have sprayed them and I have sprayed them fairly dark. 
So the main reason why I have done that is because it is a drift car and I will be running light bars both on the top of the windscreen and also underneath the wing just so people know when I'm braking and also um, when people know that I'm like indicating I'll have an additional kind of like LED strip for that as well. So please don't use this as a good indication for how dark <laughs> You should go for a straight car because you should probably only dust coat very, very, very lightly. It does lay pretty thick. Um, I've only done two coats and I've laid it on fairly slow. So the faster you go, the better it will be. But here they are. So they're practically pitch black, um, but in real life, they look pitch black on camera, but in real life, you can still see through them to the slightest. Now, it is a little bit dark, it is that time of the day. So, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna throw them on the car and show you guys what it looks like on. And I'm literally a doofus. I totally forgot to tell you guys that if you have done the little masking tape section like I did for the reverse lights and you have like the base model 180, um, take it off while it's still tacky because that way it won't pull up the paint so i'm just gonna take this off i'm gonna go get my blade and i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like without it I actually like the way that this looks i'm glad that i left these because i'm not gonna have leds or a light bar for this that actually looks so good okay so this is the final look for that little garnish centerpiece um, this is currently upside down, so it would be the other way up because of the keyhole, but my gosh, did that come up good. That is going to look so much better on that rear end now because the car is black, so having the full red kind of like tail light across really didn't suit it. Literally like a party going on with, the, with that car. There's candy, there's holographic, so I definitely had to like somehow customize the rear tail light as well. Okay guys, so now I'm going to go fit these bad boys on the back of Nori and I will show you guys what it looks like. Alright, you know what? I actually said I was going to show you the final product. So how about I show you in 3, 2, 1. Boom. <laughs> Woo Nori looks so much better. And this is going to look so nice because underneath on this section of the car, there's going to be a wrap. If you haven't seen what the rear is going to look like, I'm going to show you right now. So I think it actually looks so much better. It looks like super stealthy and it's like, I don't know, it just, it looks like a garnish rather than um, having like that ugly kind of red on it. Um, because it is a drift car, it just, I don't know, I feel like it completes it a little bit more and it just holistically looks much nicer. So on that note, guys, I wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching again. And if you like this video and you want more how to's, please do let me know in the comments below or just give me a thumbs up, subscribe, do something just to let me know that you guys are enjoying this content and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.